Hey what's going on guys, Turty Worthy here and welcome back to another Minecraft modding uh, tutorial video for 1.12.2 and um, in this video we are going to be going over um, overriding vanilla crafting recipes or uh, removing them. Uh, in this one we're just going to go over removing them because then go ahead and replacing them is just a very easy thing to do. Um, and there's no point in me going over that because all you need to do is just create a recipe um, So it's quite simple So let's get started in our events package. We want to go ahead and create a new event uh, so a new class and we're just going to call this um, Override Recipes Okay, just like that and in here we need to do a at subscribe subscribe event and then we need public void register recipes just like that and import subscribe event now inside of our parameters we want a registry event, registry event, and in here you want to put, um, you want to put dot register, and in here we're just going to put recipe. And on the outside, if I have done this way, oh, I recipe, I mean, and just import that, give that a save. Inside of um, inside of here, we want to go and put I forge recipe uh, registry modifiable mod registry. No, why does it keep doing these? Because we don't want that mod registry is equal to open brackets and put inside these brackets I forge registry modifiable and on the outside put event dot get registry just like that give that a save um, then you want to go ahead and create a void so we want public static void remove recipe and in the parameters you want iforge re uh, registry modifiable and we're just going to call that mod registry we want um, resource location recipe and we want string mod ID and import resource location in here we want to put I recipe and we're just going to call that P is equal to in brackets I recipe on the outside put mod registry dot get value of recipe just like that and then put mod registry dot remove recipe and then mod recipe uh, mod registry dot register dummy recipe or um, we're just going to call this um, test recipe dot from p now obviously we don't have test recipe so we need to go and create that um, so in our recipes class we're going to create 
uh, recipes package we need to create a class called test recipe this needs to go ahead and it extends um, I forge registry I forge registry entry dot I M P L implement I recipe and implement I recipe and just import all of those in here we want to put private final item item stack and call that output then we want to create the constructor so a uh, test recipe and in the parameters we want to put uh, our item stack output and we want to do this dot output is equal to output then we need to go and create um, a public static uh, i recipe from and in the parameters put i recipe other um, and return a new test recipe of other dot get recipe output and then on the outside put dot set registry name to other dot get registry name if that save then we need to um, we need to do matches so matches yep just like that and we need to return false we need um, get crafting result and in here we just need to return item stack dot empty then we need to do can fit and in here we need to go ahead and return false then we need finally get recipe output and in here you need to return output give that a save now we need to go and um, call our remove recipe so let's just import this class and then yeah we need to call uh, test recipe dot um, no, what? so you need to call a uh, remove recipe just like this so you just type in remove recipe um, so I'll show you remove recipe and it's that one right there for this you just want to put mod recipe and for the recipe you want to put new resource location new resource location and this is the recipe or the um, the location of the recipe you want to remove so if you go into reference libraries forge source assets minecraft recipes you can see all the recipes here so um, let's see what what can we remove um, blue wall no no that's kind of complicated oh no it's not actually okay so we'll put in here for example minecraft blue underscore wall that's it now for the mod ID you want to go ahead and put a uh, reference.mod ID 
and give that a save. Obviously, we need to go ahead and um, we need to call this. So, if we go over to um, so just collapse all of the reference libraries. Yeah, so we need to call, I believe, we need to call remove recipe. No, we don't need to. Um, I think maybe we need to make this a subscribe event. Um, so, I'm just going to run the game and uh, I'm going to check that that's what we need to call it. Right, so guys, I just got into the game. Um, oh, bums, it didn't work. Because, apparently it's like that. So that's probably because it hasn't been registered. Um, so, let's not make this a subscribe event. Um, so we actually shouldn't. Okay, okay, this, this is my bad. Um, so, this doesn't need to be in this class. So, let me just get rid of that. Well, it can be in this class, actually, because it's static. Um, so, yeah, that's fine. That, that can be in this class. So, let's go to um, our registry handler. Um, I think it needs the registries going post in it. Let's see. I think they do. They might go in init, actually, not post. If we look at um, our handlers. So it's not in pre. Oh, it's in init. Okay. So at the bottom of init. Um, actually, no. Before your smelting recipes, but after your um, registering of the GUI handler, you want to put um, let's see, where's our event handler? Because we actually need to put it in the event handler. Right, so let's call this override recipes and call it recipe event equals a new override recipes okay and before these we need to put minecraft forge dot event bus dot register um recipe event just like that and actually you probably want to put the loot event um before example event Okay, just like that, and then inside of init, just after here, we want to put override recipes dot remove recipe. Ah, uh, no, because it has arguments. We didn't set this as static, right? Be set anything as static? No. Okay, the best way to do this then would actually be to go ahead and put this method inside of our registry handler. Um, like that. Therefore, we can do this dot. Uh, no, we can't do that. We can do registry handler dot remove recipe oh, we still can't do that because it has parameters I feel like we should just be able to make this a subscriber then but apparently that doesn't work ok let, let's try that let's try it as a subscriber then and just keep this in here um and obviously, because we are calling this in our event handler now, um, it should have fixed. So I'll see you guys back in the game. Oh, we have errors. Huh. 
Huh? What do you mean? Where did Inet Registries go? Where'd it go? Oh, I got rid of it. Apparently. I meant to just get rid of this line. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back in the game. Okay, so I think that was very stupid. Um, you guys probably already realised this, but this can't be a subscribe event. Because it has no event parameter. Um, yeah. So we have to get rid of that. But we somehow have to call this. Um, so what I'm thinking is we get rid of that. We go to override recipes and we put it in override recipes. We need to tell it what the recipe is so we can have, for example, we should be able to have resource location recipe. That allows for the recipe to be there. Wait, if we... I think I'm being stupid. Wait. One second. If I... Do this. Get rid of that from there. Okay, okay. I just realised how stupid I've been. Get rid of that. That's what up. I. You guys can officially class me as stupid and I will happily take it. Because, okay, okay, so basically the issue we had is we needed to call this method. Um, but the thing that I did wrong was I tried to put this line of code in our remove recipe me me method, which meant that um, this never got called, this whole method never got called, and we had errors with um, these variables not being... Um, you couldn't access them and obviously we can't make this a subscribe event because it has three parameters and none of them are an event parameter you can't actually have three parameters for an event um, so I did many absolute stupid things here um, but now I believe this should work if my stupidity has kicked itself out um, so I'll see you guys in the game for the 98 million billion trillion time Alright, so guys, we just got in the game, and if we go ahead and open the crafting table, and we put this like that, we see it doesn't work, but like that, doesn't work. Uh, if you just wait for this to scroll through, so we'll wait for it to go back to lime, you should see that blue is not on there. Grey, cyan, brown, black, yellow, red, purple. Pink should be getting to the end. Lime. And yeah, blue wasn't on that. Um, so we have successfully removed the blue recipe. Um, now you obviously you can go ahead and actually replace this recipe uh, with whatever you want. And that will work fine. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please do be sure to smash your face on into onto into that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed, please be sure to share it, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, goodbye guys.